Da 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 da. All right, uh, Nike Air Mats Impact Four. I didn't know they were Air Mats, so I'll be honest with you. I just ordered them. Shout out to my dog CJ, who hit hit me with the Nike uh, four percent off code uh, when that was popping. I think on Christmas Day. Um, I need some more basketball shoes, and I just got some Pumas. Mellow twos. Got these for about uh thirty nine dollars for my outlet. But uh, you know, you can't go wrong with some Nike basketball shoes if you get some quality ones at least. And uh here we are. Um pretty sleek model. I think I would just went for something a little bit less flashy or at least a little bit something that made a little bit more sense color wise. Like this this isn't a bad colorway. The green um, there's like green accents you can maybe see on the inside there and then little uh i guess shoe i don't know shoe hoops shoe loops i don't know um get the inside view see like a little green uh patterning there i wish i could zoom in correctly there we go um they remind me honestly of, like kind of the same gray as a uh, wave runners and kind of honestly the same way to kind of use the gray. Like the tongue is the same gray. The inside is a lighter gray. It's very similar colorway. Uh, not similar colorway, but similar gray to uh, Wave Runner. So honestly, not much else to say. These are not a shoe I'll be wearing in many situations, except to play basketball, which I'm going to do right now. All right, I'm going to make this short because I have some coffee shop to get to. And uh, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch here. So basically my hoop session was about 40-ish minutes, give or take. Um, shot around, played about three games, uh, full court stuff. So in these environments here, my court is the court I hoop on fairly, not, not the best hardwood, I'll be honest with you. Not the best hardwood, not the best quality. Some spots have faint amount of dust. So in these situations, my Puma Mellow 2s, which I've broke in yesterday, uh, first time hooping in those, grip was not great. Not great at all. But those are shoes that are notable for not having great traction on the sole. Nike Air Mass Impact 4s, on the other hand, I would say those shoes, honestly, to me, were grip-wise, Mariah Mills, uh, Pinky, um... Jana Michaels, like just high level of grip, incredible traction, guard shoes, I guess you would say. I, I, I'm not a basketball shoe aficionado, but as far as shoes for me, uh, about 5'9", 130, uh, 135 maybe, those are shoes that move very well with me. No real strain on my legs wearing those. I've worn all types of shoes. Um, I've worn Hardens. Uh, I've worn, I think, Kyrie's, LeBron's, I've hooped in Jordan 11's, the Space Jams, um, LeBron 12's, like older LeBron's, newer LeBron's and those, but LeBron 12's are the most noticeable to me. Foam posits, I've hooped in all kinds of shoes. And to me, those are some of these shoes that have had the least strain on me, Jordan 11 lows. Um, those shoes, these Air Max Impact 4's have had some of the least strain on my foot and wearing them uh and my legs specifically light as hell very very just if you want to make a lot of quick moves i think those shoes help now in that a lot of the shoes i wear are closer to mid tops that have a little bit more um you know suction around the ankle these have i i can't say really any um like the the heel is covered a little bit, but I wouldn't say that these have the most ankle coverage. But I never felt like I was coming out the shoes. I never really felt like I was at risk of um, you know, when I make a like let's say doing a side to side move, I never felt like my legs would give out on me, which that to me is the second most important thing when it comes to your ankle outside of just feeling like you're gonna slip out. And I never felt like either. They're a very tight shoe uh, if you are tying them in and, you know, wearing them tight, true to size, which is what I'd recommend. I'd definitely recommend true to size. Uh, I think I took a video 
But basically, I'm a size ten and a half to eleven, depending on the shoe. And uh, my toe was basically in kind of that that as Bill Simpson would say, the Vegas zone, where basically my toe is not touching the the very top or the I forget what people call it, but the toe box. It's not touching the toe box. However, it's close enough to where like I don't feel like I'm just like sinking into my shoes. So I would say true to size. Um, I'm about an 11, and I got an 11 of these, and I feel perfectly fine with those. Um, anything else? Anything else? Pretty, it feels like pretty quality materials. Like, if you touch the shoe, you get a chance to kind of touch it around a little bit. Uh, you have a um, you have a little bubble. Little, I forgot what Nike calls that, but a little Nike bubble. Um, just a very light shoe. Uh, feels rigid when you kind of grab the, the midsole a little bit. Uh, I, I think it's just a well-constructed shoe, honestly. As far as the pricing goes, I think it's, I think it retails for, I saw about 71 on Nike.com. I bought these when they had the 40% code on Christmas Day. And for 40 or 50, I think it was 45 to 50-ish. For that, incredible shoes. I mean, you'll get, I would think like at least two years out of these shoes, bare minimum. Uh, and I mean like playing pretty often. That That would be my assumption. But, you know, that can always vary, of course, depending on what you're playing on. Uh, if you're playing on outside, obviously, that lasts a little bit longer or it's shorter. But um, if you can get these for anything under, like, 100, I would just say go get them. I mean, they're not the most best-looking shoes of all time. You're not going to stand out particularly. They look like something you would get out of Nike Yellow, which is where I got them. But at the same time, they're going to outperform a lot of shoes. Like, these Puma 2s. I would say the only reason I like the Puma 2 is better is that it does have kind of that mid, you know, kind of format structure that makes me feel a little bit better about my ankles. But that's personal preference. A lot of people are not even mid or high top shoe people. Like there, A lot of people are low top. Kobe fans, uh, PG fans, a lot of people are low top guys nowadays, so... If you like low tops, I would say go with these in a heartbeat. If you're like mid to high top dudes, especially like if you're a big, like a, a, a large man, you know, six five, you know, playing center position, these may not be for you. But if you're anybody that's going to move a lot in the perimeter, going up and down the court, uh, smaller fella, I'd say go for these. I'm going to do the Puma reviews, I guess, after this. I've already recorded this now, but I'm going to give thoughts about the Puma shoes in a separate video and uh, put that up. So. That will come after this, but hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.